Why? 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 Why are these boys prevented from going to their favorite school, Achimota Secondary School? Well, I have some reasons um, the school gave, and I have my own reasons to give as to why those guys should be allowed into the school. So, stay tuned, get a chill drink, and stay through to the next video. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>
let me state my points from the beginning okay like i said earlier i didn't know rastafarians were like a, a religious group so i was arguing from the point of them cutting their hair okay the first question i want to ask is why are we as Ghanaians made to cut our hair in the public institutions okay why are we made to cut our hair i mean if you tell me not to braid rasta or or do dreads or something that is adding attachment to my natural hair or not to straighten my hair i understand but something growing from my scalp you're telling me to cut it because it's not allowed in the school and it looks like it's a nationwide rule every secondary school you go doesn't allow um anyone be it girls or boys with hair with long hair to enter you need to cut your hair has the has um i don't get it okay i don't get it people are saying colonial people are saying um this is a colonial rule and all that frankly speaking before making this video i had to go on on google to go and check whether there was a rule like that in the past when the colonial masters were in africa saying that they should cut their hair and stuff i didn't really get any article on that but all i got was the fact that the white people think that the black hair is ugly and excuse me to say it looks like pubic hair and it's not pee. it's simply not nice so um africans um post-colonial era decided to straighten their hair and then hide their hair in braids and in weaves and in wigs that was the notion and that is what we have come to see as now okay so probably in that era they were made to cut their hair because your hair is not beautiful so why don't you cut it maybe but i stand to be corrected maybe that's where the rule came from my question is why do we still have the rule standing right now because if you are telling even the guys to cut their hair well in as much as it's not fair because i don't have a problem with a guy leaving his hair on once it's natural he shouldn't just touch it once it's natural i don't have a problem with that but why would you tell a girl i mean the hair is the beauty of a girl why would you tell a, um, a girl to cut her hair before she's um um she she's made to enter secondary school that's one two okay secondly um people brought up issues that there were some white girls in motown who had their hair straightened and then doing a ban okay so they were then asking what gives these um, girls the opportunity to come to school with their hair like that and then the um black guys have to cut their dreads well let me talk about this issue what in fact gives them the right to come to the school like that because let's call a spade a spade okay if a spade is a spade don't call it a shovel don't call a spade any other instrument than a, a, a spade okay if the white man can't cut his hair, can't cut his hair when it's entry if i have dreads on right from infancy or right from child or whenever i started growing whenever i started growing my hair then you have no right to tell me to cut my hair because what is good what is sorry what is good for the goose is good for the gander okay if you're telling the white child to cut the hair then if you tell me to cut my hair that makes a lot of sense well i posted this on my status i had huge and tons of messages okay some people were saying that um the girls came for um the girls came for an exchange program okay for a week so why did they have to cut their hair let me tell you something okay don't bend the rules for a certain situation that is wrong if it is a no it is a no don't say no but or no because no no is no okay I, I don't want to mention the secondary school because i don't want it to look like i'm creating problems but you and i know that there are secondary schools in this ghana that admit white people without have, telling them to cut their hair and they don't even have any reason they don't have to bring a medical report just because they are white or because they are half co or mixed race okay they can come in with their hair that way provided it's kept in a ban and to add to excuse me to say the nonsense they said it's only those who have straight hair who are allowed to keep their hair in band so if you're half core you're mixed race or you're white and your hair is curly you are 
You are made to cut the hair. Where is the sense in this? Honey, where is the sense in this? There is no sense. There is no sense. Like, actually, at school, you can do better. Come out with a better reason as to why you want the guys to cut their hair. Three. Let's delve into the religious aspect, okay? Let's delve into them. Tells Rastafarians and genius that, in quotes, religious beliefs can't be exhibited in schools. Quotes, quotes closed, sorry. You are saying religious beliefs can't be exhibited in schools, but these schools were created by mission uh, missionaries, okay? And they created it in accordance with the, to the church in which they were coming from. I'm, I'm, um, I went to a Catholic school, okay? Other people went to other schools, um, Methodist, um, the Wesley Mission, when they came, they built Methodist schools. The Presby, other, other um, missionaries built other schools, okay? So in my Catholic school, for instance, okay, we were made to go for mass when there was mass. We were made to um, go for stations of the cross when there were stations of the cross. We were made to say the rosary. And if you miss any of those activities, you'll be severely dealt with. So if Nagrat is coming out to say religious beliefs can't be exhibited in the schools, then let's reform every rule in this country and make it neutral. Because you can't come and bring new rules to suit a certain situation, okay? Um, actually, what I don't know, probably it's a Methodist school, I don't know what missionary is in charge of that school or what mission school it is. But if Achimota says they are not going to allow the Rastafarians to practice their beliefs by bringing in the dreadlocks, they have every right to do that because I went to a Catholic school and then I, I acted as a Catholic because that is what, that is what I, I wanted because that's the school I wanted to go to. They don't have any pro I don't have any problem with Achimota saying that. But then if Nagat is coming out to say that no school is opposed to um push their religious beliefs on the students then i have a problem with achimota then if that is the case they have no right to deny the guys from entering the school because of their dress because their dress is such a um, result of the religion in which they belong to so looking at the situation either ways achimota loses if you are come to tell me that everyone who enters the school cuts their hair regardless of what they are come to do that's okay the exchange students that came in wearing the school cloth they wore the school clothes. Even if they spent a, a week, they still wore the school clothes. Now, let me tell you something. Um, um, there's a popular saying that goes this way. You, when you go to Rome, you do what the Romans do, okay? I schooled abroad, and I know for a fact that the privileges we give these white people, they won't give us half of those privileges in their country. Now, let's, let's turn this upside down. If a black person was supposed to go for an exchange program, even if it's three days um, in a school, he will abide by the school, school rules. They wouldn't bend the school rules for the person. Trust me, they won't. So why is it that you, they come here, even if it's for a week or some days, and we tell them that they can enter without cutting their hair? I mean, hell. There are other schools that wouldn't mind if they, if they don't cut their hair. There are other private secondary schools they can also go to. So that one, there's no... Pre don't try to bend the law for someone and be, and be just strong on another person. That's not fair. That's why I said, let's call a spade a spade. Don't call A, B when it's clearly A. Okay. So, actually, Mota School, me, I don't really mind what you do anyways. Whatever, if this head mistress, you've just planned that you just want to be like, um, you just want to say, you just want your yes to be your yes, and you just don't want to allow these boys inside because of their address, that's really your business, but it's not fair. That's all I can say. When you look at it religiously, I've given reasons, it's not fair. When you look at it from the social point of view, too, it's equally not fair. So, what exactly are you gaining? Even if they come with their hair cut, what exactly? Why should we even be cutting our hair in this in this day and age? Our hair is natural. Um, up to like some few years back, you can't even send natural hair um to work. Even today, 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 how important natural hair to work? Because it's seen as they are they are looking dirty. 
they look like they don't even have money they look poor let's stop this seriously we are in the 21st century let's stop acting like people are really backwards this post-colonial era let's live up to it so i forgot to have my drink thank you so much for watching if my voice went a bit high it's because i'm emotional about this whole thing i mean there's another topic i want to bring on board okay it's about how Ghanaians are treated in their own country i'm still making a research on it that's how come i've not brought the video and you would understand why this topic is so dear to my heart kindly like comment if you have anything to say subscribe see you in my next video bye